Hey everybody, Brooklyn Attic Books here. So today I'm going to show you guys how I wrapped my first edition third printing Stephen King. I know it's in rough shape, but I wrapped it in a protective mylar. I, I got it on Amazon. I know I'm like the biggest anti-Amazon person, but this roll of bro darts, uh, protective mylar, it just folds out. It comes in this little, uh, I guess, 10 yard strip. And so I just kind of take the cover off and it's super simple to use. And I know other people are real meticulous. They measure things out. I just kind of eyeballed it, make sure I gave it maybe like a quarter inch, half inch on each side. And then as you can see, I just kind of mark it. I, I wanted to protect this cover because it's in rough shape already. So I know it's not worth a ton of money, but it is my copy and I'd like to preserve its integrity. So as you can see, I'm not real meticulous about how I cut. I just kind of go with it. And then it's, it's in rough shape and it's pretty frayed on the edges, but I flipped this Brodart cover around and you just want to make sure that you line up each side of it. So one side gets lined up and you just have to be careful. This is like the most tedious part. This video is less than five minutes. So that's how quickly you can very easily do this. I've literally only wrapped maybe five books before this one. So it's not like I had a ton of practice, but you try to line up the bottom and you can't really see it great here. I guess I didn't show it great in the video, but you line up the bottom and then that's, that's really the key to making sure that the top gets folded over properly because you're custom folding this, but there's only one fold but you absolutely need to use this tool that I have. And I didn't know about this before Jason showed it to me. It is a, what is the name of this thing again? Genuine bone folder paper creaser. And I'm sure if you're into origami, you have probably different sizes of this thing but you just basically fold it over. It helps to flatten down the edge that you want to fold that clear plastic along and just make sure once again, you give it maybe about an eighth inch above. So it's not right on the crease, right? So it's not right on the edge of the book. You're not damaging the book. And basically that's it, you know, after this, this is the hardest part. If you make, if you, but it's pretty easy to fix. If you get it crooked, it's not hard to fix, but I did pretty good here. And then basically what it is, is you'll just place the book in the center where the spine is and you just fold it onto it where it's creased already. And you don't even have to be super. This, this, I'm not a super meticulous person, so as you can tell, but this came out great. And then this was a little trick Jason also showed me is that once the, the plastic is down, you can then go in and use this little tool to straighten out bent edges, creased edges. Isn't that cool? And look how pretty it comes out. It comes out really nice much better than the beat up copy that it looked like before. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and a follow. See you guys around.